Hi friends and welcome to episode 42 of my Crystario playthrough and me being a uh, Douglas Adams fan making an episode 42 always means something special. So you won't find the answer to everything but you sure will find today lasers. Um, we're going also to produce an array which produces utility tech cards and last but not least I will unleash Immersite. Or at least I will, uh, uh, I will research the technology for that and uh, see what we can do with that. So far, so good. Um, since I have uh, prepared the um, assembling machines tier three, I can now go into the production of the yellow tech cards. Um, it's getting quite crammed over here in my science area, so. I haven't expected things to escalate like this, but well, I do enjoy my run a lot so far. So we have here our first 50 tier three assembling machines. Mm. They were quite some job to produce as well. A lot of decisions have been made. A lot of thinking has been made. And oh, everybody who was uh, with me the last time when I did some some bogus with the belts here. I fixed everything up. The production of the technology cards is, uh, is completely okay again. This amount of blank tech cards is just annoying at this point, but well, you have to do what you have to do. All right. So we have now to figure out where to produce all this stuff. So to produce one yellow tech card at a second, um, so check out. Just uh, keep an eye on my new defenses. Um, to produce yellow tech cards, um, I was lacking a lot of uh, um, a lot of production power before, because we're going to need an array of sixteen assembling machines to produce the low density structures. I really, really do wonder what we could do about that or much more where to produce that we're going to need copper steel and plastic i mean ultimately i would count that as a intermediate product but uh oh man that's it's quite a big intermediate product don't you think and uh, i'll just realize that the this this flank here is getting more and more attacks and uh, I also will um, upgrade the power output of this array a little bit further because um, I gotta. I, I don't need to burn all this stuff. Some kind person uh, told me that uh, I could also do even more petroleum gas out of the other oil types, and I will ultimately do that. I just uh, I just didn't think about it that I can convert things even more with this mod. So, um, my, my thought was uh, to actually try to produce the low density structures over here. I just need to locate where the plastic bars live now. So, you're uh, that stuff. I mean, I had plastic bars produced. I do know that I'd produce plastic bars. Here's the plastic road. Where does plastic road go? Plastic road goes to this place and then to nowhere. So this means, I mean, what do we have here? Um, this is the setup, isn't it? Hmm. These guys are producing this amount here. Oh, I really should have should change that as well all right so basically uh, how much plastic do these guys eat up only six per second we have such a huge overspill here um this will mean the uh The plastic has to run somewhere over here. I 
definitely want to produce these uh, things uh, in this vicinity so I don't have to uh, carry the, uh, n the materials I need too far. Yeah. Okay. It's really time to uh, upgrade a few parts of my factory as well with the uh, construction robots I'm having, but uh, there are always so many things on my mind when I start playing this factory. I just end up uh, having no time for these things. But well, at some point I won't be able to uh, delay that any longer. <laughs> but I guess I'm going to uh, procrastinate just like that. So we're. Oh, I love this function so much. It's just, uh, I missed it, you know? I just missed it. It's nothing new or something like that. It's just uh, so damn handy. Okay. <laughs> we are going to... lead the plastic over here differently. And I'll also have to do something about the splitting as well I think or I'll I just leave that stuff as it is I mean it works out doesn't it no need to optimize further if things are working out this is not perfect I'm well aware of that Okay, let's check. I need to go up here and, uh, all right. So basically once I hit the miners here, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm at my goal with the height. And once I'm there, I can just turn over and let it run synchronous with the other stuff. And boom, I just hit that just uh, exactly usually I like to uh, leave one square more but uh, I'll just take it as it is to now so 17 shooters okay we're holding out and that's okay but I think uh, I'll, uh, I'm going to need to upgrade my defenses ultimately a little bit more no. So I'm pretty concerned that this will be not enough. Okay. So um this is perfect. I was uh, aiming for this spot here um to get things produced. I mean, it's going to be quite a simple array. I can do this all with the uh, yellow belts um Thus, I'm just uh, taking whatever I need and split it off in the directions necessary. So this one will uh, go... Oh, I'm using this gap. Why not? Like this. I'm absolutely convinced that I will need to uh, grab new, new, new belts in between. Pretty sure... I'm running out of belts soon. Okay, that's going to be the copper. And the last but not least, the steel. All right. So we're having here some split off. Oh, well. I want to uh, grab it. Um... I want to grab it um, after the mixer, the mini mixer here, because this uh, just um, shares the load uh, of the workload better. There we go. I mean, this makes a, an extra uh, turn here, which uh, certainly looks a little bit wonky, but I prefer it like this. All right. So now I should have pretty much everything 
and now I have the ability to produce immersite quarries. I'm excited and delighted. Honestly, I since I started playing this mod, I was uh, seeing that purple stuff, and I was wondering what can we do with that. So let's check it out. Um, advanced fuel. Well, made out of, out of immersite powder and uh, fuel. Okay, good fuel. Advanced solar panels. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they compare to a regular solar panel, though. What's that? Effect transmission. Okay, it's nothing really new. Portable immersite solar panels. Mmm, even better ones. Okay. So I guess AI core. I guess we have to research a little bit deeper until uh, the really funky stuff shows up. Um, something I discovered uh, was the Kovarex en enrichment, which uh, gives me the ability to enrich uranium-238 into uranium-235. That's really crazy. The only thing you need is a surplus of at least 30 uh, uranium-235. It's awesome. So I, I said a few episodes ago, or one episode ago, that uh, the uh, atomic stuff is nothing special in Crestorio, and it is so comparable to the regular one. Um, I I'm sorry, I, I, talked, uh, I talked nonsense there. I take that back. We're going to run some nuclear power later on too, <laughs> just uh, to to make it happen. And uh, I, I'm, well, I want to try out these things because my goal ultimately is uh, to try to cover up as much of the craziness of this mod as possible. I, I don't know. I, I won't be able to do everything. I guess it's just not enough time can't spend so much time on just this uh, one mod, but well, I will do as much as I can. All right, so I'm going to grab a few more medium poles and I'll need some more small poles. Good. And this stuff I'll need, and that stuff I'll need. Oh, and I need some uh, blue belt production as well. That's for sure. But until then, I guess I should be okay. All right. So I don't know um, if it's that wise to produce the uh, low density uh, thingies in such a scale now and transport them over such long distances. But I think they sound like some material uh, that will be necessary in future productions as, productions as well. Can't imagine that uh, I make this effort uh, only for the tech cards. Can't. I just can't. Okay, so we now need 16 um, assembling machines. And they need so many different uh, things for the input. I think I'm going to uh, mix the steel and the uh, plastic into one belt and I'm going to uh, do one belt of copper plates. Uh, this will make the organization a lot easier. So if I do it like this with uh, only two input belts, I can uh, arrange the mirror to each other. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is going to be one, two, three, the output route. There we go. And now I'll need to uh, somehow mix the plastic and the uh, steel. And there's uh, some some blind passenger on the road. Okay. Where's my splitters? There's my splitters. So I'm going to do the good old trick here. There we go. Make that go on one uh, side of the belt only. There we go. 
Oh, man, I, I got it wrong again. I need the other side of the building. Okay. But that's nothing new. I, I end up choosing the wrong side of the belt intuitively uh, really often. I don't know why, but uh, it's just uh, some certain habit of mine. So there we go. Because uh, this way I can just do a simple T merger like that and uh, boom, done. Alright. And next up is just. Uh, Oh, I'll need to arrange the input a little bit differently here. Okay. Maybe not my most uh, aesthetic approach so far, but <laughs> well, okay. Now I have to do it like this. There we go. Sometimes pretty unimportant things uh, start to turn important for me like this there it's completely unnecessary to tweak the belts like that but uh well. i think factorio is uh perfect to induce uh, uh <laughs> obsessive compulsive desires in people all right so we need the uh low densities here and that's all just for one of the just for one of these things per second. It's amazing, isn't it? So luckily we can cover up everything just with one basic inserter. I like that. It's nothing too uh creative here. After playing so much C block with uh, the tons of uh, inserters needed everywhere, they're attacking my pipes there. Damn! I need to. Uh, okay, I I need to take. Uh, I need to really uh, interrupt my work here because I can't uh, risk a hole in my own pipes. <laughs> just uh, nothing I can allow to happen. Ooh, let's uh, not go through the uranium fields. It's quite unhealthy to do so. Okay. Yeah, so this front down here is really getting roughed up. I think I'm going to uh, increase my uh, defense here as well. I mean, I didn't uh, put up so much power for no reason at all. Most of this power by Jay is uh, meant to be uh, powering up defensive measures. So... Um, where did the oil pipes get wounded, though? Oh man, I hate it when that happens. Oh, it was over there, okay. So this uh, side is uh, hold, holding tight. Uh, well, ultimately, I think it's time to uh, consider fortifications as well. I mean, I do like that. So there we go. This will mean that I need to uh, expand my uh, defenses. A little bit more into this direction as well. Oh, I don't have enough magazines for these fellas. Oh man. Sucks to be me. Alright. But good thing I have and I have a few more laser turrets in my pocket. 
the main idea was to have uh, turrets that will be working without uh, ammo. After all, this is a very, very big advantage. All right. So, how's my uh, storage with that stuff? 55 towards 3.8k. Oh my gosh. All right. So possibly I should start uh, researching the Kovarex enrichment right away, because I mean I can do that directly. I have so much uh, of the other uranium available, um, and if I really want to go into uh, atomic power, this stuff is very important. <laughs> so there we go. Back to the easy things of life. That's some red inserters. And with the yellow tech cards, I should have unlo unlocked most of the things in the game. Are there any more obstacles here? Yeah, there's another, the matter tech card. Of course there was some more, some more obstacle, okay. But uh, we're we're breaking uh, we we start breaking all of the walls little by little. So having complete access to the technologies of this mod will be sure some delightful experience. There we go. Fresh low density structures coming up hot. So now to the ordeal to let them run down towards my laboratories. I need a sip of coffee to think about this uh, job. And actually, yeah, that's what we're going to do for now. I'm going to uh, let them run uh, across my, my smelter array. and uh, use the passage down there. I'll need the right one there. I can, I, I consider relaying that later, but, or, or, or adding another, uh, um, adding another, connection somewhere else into my factory if necessary but until then I feel very comfy with the idea of uh, routing that stuff directly to the science complex where I uh, plan to use that I'm running here very very narrow uh, alongside of the uh, um, of the smelter array um, to not conflict with the um, expansion in the future because I don't think that I will be able to sustain my production um, with just two columns of uh, copper plate production. I, I think I'm going to uh, modernize a lot of things in my factory once I have hit uh, the, well, once I've unlocked the yellow tech cards. So, because after that, there is not much more to unlock. Um, the matter tech cards, well, the way I see it, this is the technology where uh, you really uh, start to hit the end game. And uh, the end game tech cards, it's okay if we're still a few steps away from that. I mean, 40 episodes in, that's sure a, quiet, uh, sure a big block. But, uh, well, it was uh, part of the deal when we when I started this series. I uh, was uh, kind of like expecting to go for the long run. Because the preview pretty much... Uh, or the overview of the mod pack pretty much... Uh, gave me the uh, the feeling that this might be exactly leading where we're now where we're at now so I figure to drop down some of this stuff here 
people uh, want to get rid of the rare metals in my pocket because this stuff you don't really need uh, in the handcrafting process after all only in a few occasions okay so the yellow tech cards I want to produce them somewhere over here so now that I have this stuff next up is a rocket fuel um, we're only needing 30 fuel refineries for that nothing uh, nothing much and 50, 50 oxygen I forgot about those so for the oxygen we're going to need a uh, some electrolysis plants and some water it's really not much to do i don't think that i will uh be finishing the yellow tech cards in this episode by the way <laughs> so <laughs> this is just such a huge undertaking but uh well we have to do it at some point okay Let's check what uh, kind of buildings I already have available. I think the fuel refineries I don't uh, mass produce yet. So, but I obviously have the components available to just handcraft those 30. So, please, just uh, let's do it. <laughs> All right. And I'm out of steel. Um, the electrolysis plants... I don't have any in my inventory either, so we're going to pick up these. What's that? Filtration plants? No, we need electrolysis, right? So fuel refineries are being built. Nice. So what's that? It's uh, really nice to have uh, everything available like that. Sure feels comfy. Oh, there goes the Kovarex enrichment. I'm going to need more centrifuges for that. And I start to figure that I should actually uh, consider mass producing centrifuges. So there's green belts. All right. But until then, I'm going to research the. Uh, nuclear fuel reprocessing which will uh, be a very important step for nuclear power i guess okay but let's get back to this uh, stuff here the low density uh, structure belt gets uh, fills itself uh, slowly but steadily um next up is the um the rocket fuel and uh Good thing here is I am producing so much light fuel that I don't need to uh, produce a light oil that I don't need to produce any somewhere else, and that's why I didn't uh, start expanding the factory right away, uh, the the power plant here right away. So, whoa, there's some dirt in my mouse. Okay, there we go. So this front holds tight. Overall, the defenses are going quite nicely. Um, sadly, I don't have the 30 uh, fuel refineries down yet, so let's uh, just check out how they will be working here. Um, we're producing rocket fuel. I'm needing iron plates, so let's work on that. forgot about that. And I'm going to need the other stuff as well. Uh, there's still work to do. Um iron plates i had some influx of these boys somewhere i'm pretty sure um but mm, somewhere my construction robots got stuck with that stuff down there oh, whatever so i'm just inclined that's a very very low amount of steel necessary uh, iron plates necessary so um Let's just uh, consider to smelter this right here. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, that's just six furnaces. I have, uh, well, I have these belts here. Mm, not cool, though. Oh, no. 
I won't do that. That won't be good for my overall performance. If I split it off here, uh, once this iron mine runs dry, um, I have I'll have a malfunctioning uh, branch in my factory. I don't want that. So here I have an influx of iron plates. Where do they get used so far? Um, I'm routing them into the uh, production of these guys here so how much of the iron plates gets used here all of the 15 so i don't want to meddle with uh, this thing here i really don't want to so this is not ideal this is uh over over stretched <laughs> this uh split off here so basically, I think it would be the easiest way, or the no, the not the easiest way, the uh, most efficient way if I uh, split it off somewhere from here. And just let it run down there. Or Alternatively, uh, grab myself some um, some ore connector from the hub and let it run down to the uh, other part of the factory. But I don't prefer prefer any of these uh, options. So lubricant, I don't need for the blue ones. So this uh, the lubricant will. Uh, well, it ultimately uh, makes it pretty much impossible to uh, handcraft these guys. Let's grab that nonsense uh, my construction robots place down. It was just because I ghosted that stuff. I don't know how long ago. Alright, advanced fuel, why not? So it feels kind of like an overkill to me to uh, branch off a whole belt of iron plates down there. Um, but I think I'm completely wrong about uh, the overkill part. So the first thing I'll do, and that's going to be a, a really smart decision here, If I pull it off correctly, that is. <laughs> I'm going to use this new belt here um, to uh, supply my uh, outgoing green circuit uh, factory. So. I'm going to do it like this. Yeah, this is good. So here I'm going to uh, feed a part of the, the output of this branch into this array here. So these guys here get the uh, sufficient amount of iron plates. It's quite important to me. And uh, somehow there was some clump there. Okay. So now I don't have a uh, overstrain on this system anymore. That's good. Because a moment before I was taking uh, more than 15 from a belt, which is mac which has a maximum of 15 items per second. That's not cool. All right, let's uh, twiddle that iron through the factory. Man, these uh these things just uh start to go really crazy. Okay, there we go. So, I'll just need a crazy amount of fuel refineries, which are finally done. I mean, that's a really, uh, that's really an, an, a good thing. Um, 30 of them. I actually think about doing this stuff over here. So I'm really happy that I built the water tank here. 
because uh, as a matter of fact it already turns out to be very very useful so yeah I mean why not the uh, getting the light oil over here will be super easy hmm but then again Will this place really support 30 factories? I don't think so. So I'm going to drop it down here. So let's do it like that. Now with uh, pipe works, I really prefer one slot between. So, whoa, 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 whoa. What the? No, 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 no. You're, you're not going to. So these guys are actually destroying my science. Wow, that's rude. Okay, so uh, this is going to be uh, quite nasty to repair. Um, I'm going to uh, go out of this episode at this point. Um, because I think I'm going to uh, reload at that point and uh, replace that stuff before the next autosave hits the spot. So um, yeah, we're going to continue the production array here. Uh, as you see, there's still a lot of work to do. Um, thanks for watching at this point. I hope you enjoy the ride. Feel free to drop a comment down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time when we finally hit the utility tech, utility tech cards. Bye-bye.